For starters, I'm gonna bring two cups of half and half and one cup of whipping cream to 175 degrees over medium heat. Now, if you don't have a thermometer, bring it to a bare simmer, but don't skip this step. It's gonna make a huge difference to the end result. Now is also the time to add some mysterious and exotic flavor. For our batch of vanilla ice cream, one bean will be enough, but we wanna get all the little black specks and pulp that comes from the inside of the bean. So just split it down the middle with a paring knife, scrape the seeds out, and put the whole thing in the pot. As soon as your mixture comes to 175 degrees, kill the heat and add your other ingredients. Now, sugar is the next big player, and for three cups of dairy, I usually go with one cup. But, since I'd like some extra smoothness in my ice cream, and a little accent flavor, and since I can interchange sugar directly for preserves, I'm going to remove three tablespoons of this sugar, and replace it with three tablespoons of the preserves. Peach preserves, I might add. Just add that right to the mix, and stir until the preserves have completely dissolved. Oh, and don't forget, pinch of salt. Okay, our vanilla ice cream mixture has come down to room temperature and we've reached a kind of secret milestone in ice cream making. It's kind of secret that ice cream manufacturers don't let leak out of their, their vaults, and it's this age the mixture in the refrigerator for at least six hours, or better yet, overnight. Our ice cream machine is turning, and our vanilla mix is not only cold, but mellowed for 12 hours. Haven't we done this before? Anyway, time to turn. A freezing ice cream is a lot like freezing sorbet. By the time it reaches soft serve consistency, all of the ice crystals that are gonna be formed in the ice cream have been, and all the air that can be worked in has been. In this case, I'd say it's about 100% air since it's doubled in volume. Now just like sorbet, ice cream should be hardened in the freezer for at least a couple of hours before serving. Till next time, this is Good Eats.